trying something different. So I'm trying to get back into running, um, but I've switched it up a little bit. I'm running in the mornings now, which is, it's great, but it's really tough. In Florida in the mornings, it's like super, super humid out and the sun's beating down on you. So the idea being to start the day off in a healthy way, get my energy nice and high, and then get the day started. So that's the plan. It's only been a couple days, but <laughs> it's been pretty good. I did two miles yesterday. Just did two miles today. I'm going for time spent running right now, not so much for speed. As soon as I get back into the groove of running, then I'll try to pick up my um, my pace per mile. But yeah, that was good, I feel good. Uh, today is Labor Day, but we will still be going into the office for a little bit. We'll go in and we have some stuff to ship from this weekend, so we're gonna go ship those packages out, and then, I don't know, we're gonna play the rest of the day by ear, so that's it, let's go. Over the weekend, over the weekend, we got this super cool new coffee table, right there. That new coffee table. It's a legit antique from the 1900s. Allison found it. Allison, Allie, come tell them about our new coffee table. Allie's gonna come tell you about it. It's right there. So the really cool thing about this industrial cart is the guy we bought it from already refinished and refurbished the entire thing. So he removed all of these cast iron pieces, he sanded them down, oiled them, and then clear coated them. So everything is sealed and contained within them. And they're not sharp, we don't have to worry about like slicing ourselves open on them. And he did the same thing with the wood. He sanded it all down really nicely. And he says that he used Min Wax Espresso and then clear coated it. Three coats. Look at those cool old fixtures. Look at those. See that one? Look at those ones. <laughs> Check out that. While I was looking at it, I found this little fixture and on it it says nutting n-u-t-t-i-n-g s-d and i looked it up and it's still an active company it's crazy so this cart's from when's it from like the 19 1900s yeah. but this company still makes carts and like moving supplies and stuff pretty crazy we got this cart on craigslist the guy wanted 500 dollars, and i told ryan he goes offer 400 see if he'll take that and delivery was included and he was about yeah. five minutes away from here so we were like, all right, let's see if he takes 400 because it was listed for, I think, a couple of weeks. And he said, yep, I still have the cart whenever I emailed him. I won't do 400, but I will do 425. And because he put so much work in, I mean, he like sanded and oiled everything down and clear coated it three times That's and awesome. varnished it. I didn't want to have to do the work. And this one was such a beautiful one. I said, all right, 425 delivered. Delivered. That's totally fair. I think it was a really awesome find. The last Amazing coffee find. table or like ottoman we had was, it was like fake leather and it only lasted us a couple years. I'm it, so it, upset that it <laughs> peeled. It started peeling and stuff, but this one should last us forever. Because as long as we want it, yeah. we have it. The more like damage that's done to it, the better, because it just shows more character. So, and it's pretty so resilient to anything. Like the guy even said, you could probably throw it off a building and it would most likely yeah. be fine. It would get some dings, but. And he was right, this thing is really sturdy, it's, it's but it dope. moves well. It's heavy, but we can wheel it around. Right. So I can wheel it around to vacuum underneath if I need to, which is really awesome. It's cool. And the casters, they're so pretty. It's a cool thing. We've also been for ourselves, for like our home and our personal use. We try to buy stuff that we know the value won't diminish on. Mm -hmm. So like this cart, we paid 425 for it. We know that pretty much any time in our lives that we wanna sell it and get something else, we should be able to get our money back out of it. Instead of just buying stuff like our old coffee table or yeah. ottoman that eventually, you know, you spend three, 400 bucks on it and then you have to buy a new one in three years. We don't want that, so yeah. Yeah, in the long run, this will save us money. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so there's our coffee table, super stoked on it. Um, we're gonna run up to the office really quick and ship some stuff that sold on eBay over the weekend Even though it's Labor Day We're still gonna go up there and ship some stuff so that it can go out in the mail and our customers stay happy So when we get to the office, we'll do another little um, what sold over the weekend So you guys can see the type of things that are selling for us and how much they're selling for so And then all the stuff that we bought over the weekend will go to the office because it's currently yes. in the house and yeah. It's really nice to get this stuff out of the house. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet another day in the life of Rally Roots. Rally Roots.
Hey, Kelly! Hey! What are you doing? Why are you here? It's Labor Day. All right guys, so what sold for us this weekend um, over Saturday and Sunday? It was actually a pretty light sales, couple sales days for us. We only did like $730, I think, on that account. Pretty good. It's okay, it's not really good. We like to at least hit 500 a day. Um, but here's some of our favorite things that sold this weekend. The first thing, uh, we sold two of those DeLonghi coffee machines. Those both sold for around 60 bucks for us. So we're making a decent profit on those. Not a whole lot because uh, those are heavy to ship, yeah. but we are still making a decent profit on them. But wholesale, the profit or the net, Never mind. Use your words. Cut it all out. <laughs> <laughs> on wholesale, you just don't make as much per item. That's what she was trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> the next item that sold was one of the Vera Bradley totes. Canvas bag, what are these? I don't know which one that was. Which one was that? It was one of the bigger ones. Callie, yeah, what one was that? Ones. Callie, come here. Get over there. Hop in, Callie. Uh -huh. Callie, what's up? Are you coming between us or behind? Oh, oh, which way are you going? What bag did you just ship? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of the bigger Vera Bradley bags, right? The so carry on and go, like or something a, like that? A carry on bag. Yeah. And it sold for 66? Yeah, 66 bucks. Sold for? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to ship that, it costs, how much did it cost, Callie? Tell the group of people. Tell the people. She's you back. guys are putting me on the spot. I don't remember these things. It was eight dollars and twenty-seven cents to ship that. Yeah, How you so not too shabby. I know numbers. All right, what else? <laughs> oh, I want to talk about these. Go. The Clark Prevo shoes that I found for one of the thrift. Was it a thrift war day? I believe so. Yeah, yeah for one of the thrift war days, it ended up selling for twenty-six dollars and change. Nice. I think you only paid like four bucks for those, so yeah, decent. We just got around to listing these shirts. I don't know if you guys remember, <laughs> we got a whole bunch of them from a thrift store. They're like music festival shirts. It's uh, Skrillex's brand. It's like O W L S A. Is that what it is? I love Skrillex. No, O W S L A. <laughs> we sold one of those sweaters, new without tags. It sold for it sold for twenty six dollars and seventy six cents. So, and I believe we only paid like two bucks a shirt for those. So they are starting to sell, which is pretty sweet. Stuff sells when you list it. <laughs> it's the moral of that story. And then we had another order that one person put in for three Monroes and it was a lot of two Lindsay's. So yeah. there were five LuLaRoe products in all and it sold for one thirty hundred and thirty five bucks. Five, yeah. yeah. That one we gave them a pretty decent discount off of it just because it's less money for us to ship those and they bought five pieces. So sometimes when people buy more than one item from us, we'll discount like 15, 20% sometimes. So. And the Monroe's haven't been flying off the shelves, so no. good to get that sale out there. For, yeah. yeah. And remember, we only paid nine bucks an item for those LuLaRoe pieces. So as much of it as we can move for a profit, we'll continue to sell them. Another Lacoste item, Lacoste sells very well for us. This one was just a basic men's, uh, I think it was a yeah long sleeve, long sleeve button down plaid. Um, and it sold for, we took a best offer on it for $21.88 shipped. So not a whole lot of money, but still a decent profit on it. Those Adidas Samba shoes that I just found, just picked up at the thrift store. Remember I went in there the day before half off um, and I paid full price for them, paid $10 for them. They did sell, took a best offer on them for $30.50. So again, not a huge amount of profit, but remember $10 into 30 bucks after fees, after shipping, still doubling our money and it sold quick. It sold in a couple days. So if you're getting an item, you're listing it really fast and you're open to best offer mm -hmm. and you're not being, you know, like stubborn and greedy. Exactly, yeah. Bam, gone, sold, Cause two those, days. Cause those shoes were listed. <laughs> Because those shoes were listed for $38.88, but we took an offer on them for 30 bucks just to get them out. Move inventory, that's the yeah, name of the game. Yeah, two days, I mean, a couple bucks less, I'm for it. We also sold another garage sale find that had just been sitting in our inventory. Um, finally threw it up and listed it. It's a, it was an old vintage Panasonic um, cassette recorder and it was missing the little battery cover, but still a good item. That sold for $34.88. It was listed for $38.88, and I took a best offer on it on that as well. That's why we like best offer, because you can see there, sometimes we'll drop it a couple bucks and take the best offer. If that option wasn't there, that person probably would not have bought the item from us. So we do like to put best offer on our items. Do you remember how much we paid for this? Uh, like a dollar maybe. Wow. Yeah. And that's why Kelly, we go to garage sales. Bring them back here. What you doing? Getting them out of the way, <laughs> <laughs> shipping them out, shipping them out, and then lastly, um, again, this isn't everything that's all. This is just our top 
10 favorite things that sold over the weekend. Um, one of those speakers, the wholesale speakers that we got did sell. We've been getting, I think two of them sold actually. We've been getting around $104 for those speakers, um, which is decent for us. We paid about 50 bucks a pop for them. So after fees, after shipping, we're, we're netting around 35 to 40% when we sell one of those speakers. So that's good. I wonder if everybody likes that Kelly and I are matching right now. <laughs> that's what sold. Kelly, do you need help? P pardon me. It's Labor Day. You're not supposed to be doing labor. <laughs> All right, shipping is done. It is Labor Day. Whoa, my tripod's falling down. Hold on. There it is. It is Labor Day, so we're done working for today. We'll come back in tomorrow, but uh, I think we're going to have some fun real quick. Ryan Bowling, commence. <laughs> Oh, I get a helmet? <laughs> <laughs> Protect yourself and your pretty face. Let's go. Oh, I don't think I can show the front of that helmet. Why not? What? <laughs> what does it say? Does it look like I give a f Oh. <laughs> Step one, helmet. Step two, skateboard. Step three, box. eBay tape bowling pins. But we need to like, yeah. Ready? Okay. Wait, grab my feet. Just my feet? Alright, go. Pete! <laughs> 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 strike! Strike! Y'all, he got that strike, no. That was a good strike, babe. Alright, guys, thanks for hanging out with us again today. We're gonna go home and enjoy our Labor Day. Labor Day! Labor Day! Enjoy yours as well. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye guys.